Hi, I'm George, TSG's HPI product manager. In this short demo, I'm going to compare searching for content in D2 versus TSG's HPI. So here I am in D2, and um, as we mentioned in the blog post, there's three different types of searches that D2 uh, provides. So the first is this quick search, where I just enter some search terms, and it'll search some attributes in full text. Uh, there's also a advanced search, that you get to with clicking you know one of these magnifying glass icons and this type of search we purposely have not implemented this in hpi because we feel that it's this build a search type scenario is pretty complex for average users and we kind of opt for more of a simple more streamlined interface but basically the way this works is i first can choose my types which come from uh in in the d2 config for this workspace so that's at least a little bit better than WebTop, where you can pick from any type. Uh, but then down here, in order to build the conditions, um, you know, to to a technical user, this makes a lot of sense and is very powerful. But for a um, non-technical user, this, you know, I have to choose from this giant list of attributes and uh, find or type the one that I want, um, and then here. You know, this isn't very user friendly. Like I you know, am as a normal user, do I know that means not equals or do I need training on that? Um, and then type in a value and then, you know, I can go forward with the plus sign and choose ands and ors and use parentheses to group, which is all very powerful, but can be very uh, daunting for an average user to to work with. Uh, we'll come back to this in a little bit. Um, and then for more simple search scenarios, D2 does provide a what they call a search form, uh, which I have one configured here. So this is the more streamlined type search that we prefer, where you can kind of just hide a lot of those details behind the scenes and just provide a simple form where the user can enter some uh, data. For example, here I can enter my policy number, maybe a policy year and click run query and then have it return the results over here in the document list. So one thing that was mentioned in the blog post was some, something that I called workspace overload. And what I meant by that is that in D2, you have this concept of workspace. A user can come in and you know, add additional workspaces or you know, switch a workspace, um, which the administrator can configure based on their group. So, um, you know, an HR person might have access to the HR workspace, but other users, you know, might not. Um, so that's great if you want to build a streamlined scenario, a streamlined interface for the given user's context. Uh, but what I meant by the overload is that if you want to have more of this streamlined search that, that we prefer, um, basically what you'd, you'd have to do is either change the layout to include more of these, which is certainly possible, um, but if you're searching on more than two or three uh, types here, um, you know, where do those where do those widgets go? Um, and uh, you know how how do you get it to look good in in this layout? And and basically what I think would would end up happening is you might have one or two over here, and then the rest of them would just show up as could be tabs across the top here, which will certainly work, but will uh, kind of you know not be that great for the user. Um, with the, from the interface side. And these searches across the top here could be a little bit uh, cumbersome because you know if I enter some criteria here and go ahead and run my query, um, I have to know to jump back to this document list to see the updated results. Um, so you know th there's definitely ways to make this more streamlined, but the question is just how uh, do you do that with the real estate? You could potentially create a new layout, but how much room do you actually have and where do all of these go? And I, I think what's going to end up happening is you might have one or two of these and the rest of it is going to fall back on this more advanced search that isn't very user friendly. So swimming, switching over to HPI, um, what we have is a little bit more um, what we feel is a, a cleaner layout here. Overall, over here, instead of workspaces, we have tracks where I can sw switch between, say, you know, control docs where I'm searching on quality documents and folders, 
and um, our insurance track here where I'm searching on policies and claims similar to what we were looking at at D2. Um, but we have our full text search widget, um, just like D2. And then instead of the very complicated advanced search, um, we kind of opt for more of what D2 calls search forms, uh, but we always display them in the same spot right here below. So searching between policies and underwriting documents versus claims just updates this uh, spot right here, kind of alleviating those concerns about having too much to fit on one page. So, and then obviously here, if I um, execute my search, um, the results table will display over here on the right. So heading back over to D2, um, D2 does give you the ability to save a search, but we feel it's a little bit cumbersome to go ahead and actually add a search. Um, basically, the way you do that is through advanced search, you can build up your search and then you have this save as here, uh, which definitely works, but um, kind of the, the issue with it is you have to, um, a lot of times you want to execute your search and then save it versus knowing um, that I want to save it to begin with here. So, you know, typically I would come through and add my, do my search and go ahead and run it. And then if I say, oh, I, I would really love to save this search, I, there's no good way to do that here um, without going back to right clicking this my last search going to search criteria and then clicking the save as and saving it as a search which is fine um, it's just a little bit cumbersome um, and in HPI uh, the way that we do it is a little bit different where once I execute my search I can just very quickly click on this plus and then give it a name so I can call this like search one two one two one two and save it, and then it go ahead goes ahead and saves it to my save search. So just a small thing, but um, you know users might be a little bit uh, frustrated with having to execute uh, the search and then go back and save it. One other kind of uh, thing with uh, save searches that was interesting is that when I execute my policy document search here through the search form, there's no actual way to save this in the save searches. So here I can rerun it um, and I can you know, change my uh, query form and run the search again, but there's no option here to save the search. One other thing I'll point out here with uh, with the advanced searches, which I'll just go ahead and run this again. Um, you can set the uh, uh, columns that you want to display here, but it's a little bit cumbersome of how that actually works. So essentially in an advanced search, um, in the criteria here, uh, I have this section here for columns. So if I want to add a new column, I can go ahead and do that. And again, it's very full featured. I can add any column here. Um, but you know, this could be a little bit overwhelming for users that I have to scroll through this whole list. And I also have to know what columns I want before I execute my search. HPI, we do things a little bit differently. Uh, the administrator can configure any number of uh, columns to display and certain columns they can configure as um, visible or not visible. And then the user can come in and say, you know, I want to see uh, certain columns, and uh, then that updates right away. So a little bit different of, you know, needing to decide what columns to display before the search executes versus after and deciding, you know, I really want to see policy number and policy year or something like that. We also really like the, um, this is kind of a small thing, but we really like having the search criteria visible with the results at the same time. Um, so that way, if the user wants to um, filter down, um, they can do that very quickly by looking at the results. So I'm looking at the results and I uh, know I want to filter down on name and I can do that very quickly. Uh, D2 does provide something very similar um, but again, it's, it's just a little bit, uh, as we saw before, um, I can get back to my search criteria, but I don't have a good way of seeing the criteria and the results at the same time, other than, uh, the, any search forms that you have, uh, configured as visible in your workspace.
Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our website and blog at tsgrp.com.